I am a new student of yours and I've been practicing on trading with you. Working mainly on my entries, but sometimes the market goes against my bias. Any advice? Stick to your trading plan and ensure you finish the 100 trade tracker that I sent to you guys to finish. Um, once you're practicing on that, you're going to realize that even though you might um, lose some trades and uh, you might win some trades, at the end of the day, you're going to still be profitable, right? So it's not about winning everything because at the end of the day, I don't expect you guys to win every single trade. I expect you guys to improve on a day-to-day -day basis, follow your trading plan, follow the rules that I provide to you in the course and you should have a great experience. I don't win every single one of my trades, but I'm able to withdraw consistently and I'm able to see other students withdraw consistently with the same strategies that I'm using, right? So as a trader, you're going to, 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 to take losses, right? And you're going to take wins. Just ensure you're following your plan and ensure you're using proper risk management to at least stay um, in the market or stay alive through trading, you know? So capital preservation is key. So capital preservation is key. Um, what are some of the challenges you face since you started trade doing forex? Um, some of the challenges I faced when I just started out was capital. I overcame um, my capital problem by finding out, you know, what I was good at. Just like the advice I've been giving you, find out what I was good at. How can I monetize it? I monetized it. I remember when I had to sell. Uh, I was telling you guys the story earlier when I had to sell my Xbox. I know the PS5 just come out and I'm able to buy the PS5. No, you know, I remember when I just, I want to sell the clothes on my back to make some money, you know, and uh, I, I'm past that now, right? So, that, those are the challenges that I faced and I just kept on pushing and I stayed motivated and now I'm out of that situation. Any ideas on what I could invest in or to create multiple streams of income? As I said, the first is to invest in yourself, which you actually did already. And now, like, just keep on building on your trading right now. And once, once actually understand your trading to a level, you know, invest in your trading account and uh, just build it up to a certain level where you can actually invest in uh, probably a big start in a business, right? Or you can probably start buying some stocks. You can probably start doing some real estate or just anything like opportunities will come and you just need to have the capital to actually take advantage of those opportunities when they do come. How do you handle the haters and the sales <laughs> who may even try to sabotage your reputation because they don't believe Forex work? Tanisha, look at me. Um, when I was coming up, when I was on my journey, a lot of people never believed in me. And even now, a lot of people still don't believe in me. And look where I'm at. I'm successful. And most of these people that never believed in me are still at the same position that they were at when they told me that they never believed in me, right? So, it's just a thing where you have to ignore the booze. Because I got a lot of booze when I was coming up. Oh, you're not, you're not gonna make it. This not gonna work, that not gonna work. You have to ignore the booze because the booze usually come from the cheap seats. It usually come from people who aren't willing to invest in themselves. So you can't allow that type of energy to get in your way of your goal. So you need to just remain focused and just push on my life. You're going to make it and you're going to have a story to tell. You know, just like how I have a story to tell, but just push on in order to be able to tell it.